morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for our May 2019 customer webinar. Today, Doug Green, Product Manager for Town News, is here to introduce Block's offers and show how you can launch a turnkey digital coupon site that drives engagement and thrills advertisers. In the room, we also have Christine Masters, Director of Product Management, and I'm Sherry Wolf, Marketing Specialist for Town News. The presentation will take about 30 minutes and a Q&A will follow. At any point, you can type a question into the chat box, but we'll wait to answer them at the end. Today's webinar is being recorded and will be available early next week. All right, Doug, tell us more about Blocks Offers. Thanks, Jerry. Yeah, so we are uh, have Blocks Offers out here for us. Um, basically, what we're going to do today as we go through this, we're going to talk about coupons uh, today kind of in the digital age, as it says there. Then we'll go through an overview of what we're kind of offering for Blocks Offers. And then we're not going to just leave you out in the cold. We're going to give you some, tic some tips that you can use um, for a successful coupon site. So without further ado, we will go ahead and get started. So just a big number to start at the beginning. 90% of all consumers across a variety of demographics use print and digital coupons. That is probably does not surprise you. Just about everybody uses some type of coupon in some way, a coupon in some way, shape, or form. So just to just so that you are aware that people do use these and do they use these a lot, that this is something that does generate a lot of interest and um, does get a lot of eyeballs on it. So it is something that you do want to offer to your customers. So what are some of the benefits of digital coupons? So obviously the, the big thing obviously is going to be to attract value conscious users to your, to your site. You want, you've got people out there who are looking for a discount, they're looking for a deal, and you want to bring them to your site and give them that type of thing to offer. Um, you want to, this also gives you the ability to reach your audience not only via the print, which you're already offering, uh, but also through the web and on mobile. Everybody has a phone nowadays. You want to be able to offer them um, that coupon that they have that right there in their hands. This obviously drives the traffic right back to your site. Um, they'll come to your site looking for deals and looking for coupons. Um, so those are the types of things that just more foot traffic through the door there. And it's easily to create. Um, it's easy to create for social media. You can tweet or put out a Facebook link um, showing that particular day's offer or that week's offer. Um, however you want to to manage those. Other benefits of digital coupons, uh, high impact sharing. If somebody does see a great deal out there, they do like to tell all of their friends about it. Um, the online coupons, they are available to you 24 seven. So that is something that you that is available to you all the time. So if you've got that hankering for that 3 a.m. pizza, you can go out, find yourself a coupon and get something delivered to your house. Um, it is optimized for mobile and for search engines. Uh, so that is something, uh, like I said before, everybody's got a phone. Everybody wants to be out there and then searching for them uh, with a good SEO impact on there as well. And then Maps Business Directory and additional information. Uh, these will all come with uh, mapping, uh, linking in with our Business Directory product, uh, which provides all the additional uh, power and functionality that comes with the Business Directory. In terms of the Blocks offers itself, Let's go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, it is going to be some type of turnkey digital coupon site. Uh, again, it is available for both your desktop sites and your mobiles um, on there. Gives you the ability to upload your photo that you want to go with that, whether that be your business logo or a particular um, high impact photo that you want to, to be shown with that coupon. They will become searchable assets on your site. You can go ahead and search for these on your site. Um, they, there's special search um, search terms that you can look for uh, to look for those particular look for those coupons in there. We did do a little bit of template redesign work on this so that you have a, a, bright, a bright, shiny, fresh new look on your site. And then obviously all of the reporting that you are used to getting with these, um, we have some have the reporting on there allowing you to track for those. One of the nice things about Blocks offers is that we're going to allow um, easy PDF conversions. So what that means is that you will have the ability to take your PDF versions of your print ad, upload those, and we will convert them into to a digital ad um, through the process. So basically you're going to dump in your print coupons in via a feed, and then they will get digitized and turned into coupons on your site. Much, much smoother and easier process um, for you guys now, just simple, um, simple and streamlines that process for you there. And then again, like we mentioned, uh, that then makes them searchable on your site and helps with keeps them SEO optimized 
um, again, so that they are popping up uh, on Google searches and those types of and those types of things. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is a one thing that we've seen um, very successful in this area is as kind of a pricing strategy to you know include twenty five dollars as either part of a rate increase for the year or um, as uh, just a, a general um, increase or allocation that you could do that says for $25 more, we are now digitizing and making your print coupon searchable. So like if you do an, a new a coupon book, for example, for the spring, you could actually add in $25 to the, this, the standard price of the coupon for the coupon book and then just say that these are all going to be digitized, they're going to be searchable online, and then you know, using the PDF process, you essentially just send us the PDFs, we digitize them, put them online. Um, depending on the kind of the setup that you have, we can actually also create a business directory listing for them and associate them together. And it's actually a really great way to have a kind of a nice baseline um, rate increase as a you know again as a as an increase strategy. So it's a, a great a great way to do that. And I will say that you know just in terms of working with. Um, some partners who have done something similar to this, there are many times when a coupon um, is one of the main, especially kind of for some mom and pop stores, um, these, this actually might be one of the main ways that they become searchable online. Um, they might have a Facebook page, but they may not have a, have, a, have a, like a website or anything yet. When you search for their store online, this is a lot of times the, um, the, the digital, version of the ad is one of the things that you can find online for them. So it's actually a, a really nice way to digitize some information about some of these smaller businesses. Absolutely. And more foot traffic means, in their stores, means more yeah. ad revenue for you. So that's always good as well. As Christine just alluded to, where do you tie this into our business directory product, um, which this will integrate with? Uh, that gives you tons of, of opportunities for cross promotions because then the branding on the coupon We'll send you back to the business directory listing. The business directory listing will have a listing of all of the coupons, which sends you back to the coupon. So it's, it's cross promotion, tying them both back and forth there. Obviously, that help will help uh, the business build brand awareness. And then what's nice about this too is on the actually on the coupons on the mobile size. If you are actually looking at this on the phone, there are call to action buttons um, where you'll have the ability to call that particular business if you want to place an order for that pizza or that item. Um, it has the ability to SMS share as well. So if this is a, a coupon you want to share with your friends, you can go ahead, send that right on to, to your contacts there as well. And as you can see, do have the ability to share those via social media or email them as well. So one kind of quick plug for the business directory, um, you know, the, 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 the one thing with the business directory is that it can be complicated sometimes depending on the setup to create the various listings over time. But one of the things that we've done uh, recently in business directory, and I think we had a, a webinar about this specifically in the past, but um, we have a new program where you can actually, uh, for a relatively small price, we will actually create like the base listing for you. And um, with their logo and kind of business hours and a brief description, a link to their Facebook page, that kind of thing. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be like a full blown, you know, microsite type implementation, but just get basically getting their logo and the basic business information. Um, and then we have kind of a low price point for an automatic creation of that. So that's something that again, you can kind of build into the pricing of this and actually get their business logo and have a nice looking landing page for them. And um, we now have a service that can create that for you and help you with that so that that could possibly be a tie into this as a program. And then you can get, you know, all of their coupons show up on their business page and, you know, feature them on the homepage or things like that. So it's a, um, if you, if you're not aware of that program or if you have interest in that, um, definitely let us know because, or talk to your salesperson because they can give you more information on that. It's a, it's a great program and it's a, a great way to make this a, a much easier way to implement as part of a, another program. So just as a quick a quick uh, side note for that. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, definitely take advantage of that. Yeah. Again, while we're talking about integrations, email reach is going to be an, a, a big portion of this. What's nice about this is that you can set up an automated list and it goes out when you want these to go out. No muss, no fuss. 
Um, actually, this is that's part of the integration, part of the setup is that we will actually set up that particular list for you so that you can have people just sign up for a coupon list. People don't sign up for a coupon list unless they actually want the coupon. So this isn't something that they're just going to sign up for and ignore. They will actually open these, check these, see what the deals are for that day or that week, um, what, however, whatever frequency that you're offering those. So people are interested in receiving that email. And to and one of the nice things that we have added on with this, um, you can encourage them to sign up for that particular list using our Blocks Promo Designer block. Uh, basically, what it'll do is it'll pop up. I think the default uh, implementation is as they are looking to leave the page, that will pop up on the page um, that says "Don't miss a deal" and allows them to sign up for that particular for that particular uh, email list, which is a, which is a, a lot of automation process. Um, for for you, so a lot of hands off on that, which which is also nice, especially in this day of, of dwindling staff that you need um, to automate a lot of this stuff. So let's get into some of the tips and tricks of things that you could offer to help kind of get this off the ground, or just some some places to kind of get this going. If you if you've been doing this a while, just sometimes some fresh ideas is always nice as well. So one of the easiest ways to, to do this is a featured coupon block. Placing it right on the front page of your home page, there um, you can have your latest your latest deals show right up there, um, so that people can see where they're there. Obviously, local deals are a big portion of this. You're going to be selling these to local advertisers. So again, the local barber shop, the the coffee shops, the local pizza place, the ice cream place, those types of things, whatever kind of the, the local spots in your community are. Um, you know, those are going to be who you're going to want to highlight. And then as Christine mentioned, this is an upsell opportunity where you can tie this in with, with the advertising packages that you're already offering and upsell folks into these coupon packages. Um, you know, offer that as an, as an addition for an additional upcharge of, of whatever and to make that to make your advertising package that you're already offering even more attractive to to potential advertisers. Some of the email newsletters ideas, and like I mentioned, we do have, uh, we will set up those for you, but one, some of the, the main ones that, that we've seen out there, even heading into this, the latest coupons, that's always a, the big draw um, in there, the, you know, the newest ones right out of the box. Um, coupons from a particular sponsor, uh, a sponsored list is always nice, so if you have things like the, uh, the grocery store sponsoring that particular week's worth of, of food coupons or those types of things. Regional coupons for concerts, uh, festivals, museums, uh, libraries, those types of things around the area. Anything that they're going to be charging admission for and you can find a coupon for anything like that. Coupons by type, you can break these up by type. So whether those are going to be dollars off, percentages off, buy one, get one, those types of things. Um, different, All those different coupon types. And then the last one is going to be an in case you missed it or things that are about to expire. Make sure that those are going out people, um, so that people get a chance to, to get in on those. Maybe they've forgotten about them. Um, maybe it came out. Maybe it's a two-week window. They forgot about it last week, and they're like, oh, yeah, I need to get in there and make sure that I wanted to use that particular, that particular coupon. Coupons by section, obviously, this is only limited by your, by your own imagination. Um, in here. Um, the, the popular ones, if you put things on like the sports sections uh, for a restaurant or fitness equipment, um, pizza places, uh, sports bars, those types of things. Um, in there on your entertainment section, anything for uh, movie theaters, restaurants, uh, things like that. In your lifestyle section, spas, salons, um, clubs, barbershops, those types of places, uh, anything like that. Uh, I know this is prom season. I've got a couple of high schoolers, so you know anything nail salons, tanning places, all the stuff they're spending their paychecks on. Um, you know those are the types of things that you might be, you know, might be offering coupons for. That you could target those by sections. That'll help drive additional eyeballs for those. So a couple other things in this too is that you know, obviously think about if you're a print organization, think about any time you have any coupon in print that should be digitized and put online and you know uh, it included a, a price for that like again a $25 upsell or something but you know also consider any time that you're selling a package to an advertiser that you could include offers as one of the 
um, items included in just a, a year-long package contract to that advertiser um, that you're, you know it's an auto dealer it's a um, a local restaurant and you're trying to put together a package for them for that year that you know having blocks offers and saying that we'll get you know over the course of the year we'll have six different offers we'll rotate them every three months or one month or whatever types of things you can get all the offers ahead of time so that you're not um, you know, having to call them, you know, constantly. Um, and, you know, so there's a lot of kind of integration and um, setup that, or and, and, and inclusion that you can do as part of many other types of advertising packages that you're doing for the advertiser. Um, the other thing to think about, too, is that anytime you're doing any kind of, you know, speaking specifically to this page, anytime you're doing any kind of you know, vertical section for, you know, uh, like a, a prom section would be awesome in print even, and say, and those also go online into a special section online. If you're ever doing a, you know, about our area tab or a green energy tab or a spring tab or any of these types of, you know, special sections that you might be doing throughout the course of the year, um, not only should you have the, the, regular ads digitized and placed into an online section, but you can also just include an offer with each of those advertisers that they can have, you know, offers kind of rotating on the front page, offers in the newsletter, that type of thing. So it's a, it's a great way to kind of hit a, a different type of audience. Um, and it's very easy to set up and include. And it's something, again, that you can just tie, add into any kind of advertising package, uh, contract package that you're doing or a tab that you're doing throughout the year. So it's a great way to add additional um, exposure uh, and content to something that you're already working on. Those are all great ideas. Time of day coupon blocks is another great one um, that will allow you to schedule these blocks. Obviously you can schedule a block for when things are shown and so these can highlight particular coupons that are going to be valuable at certain times of the day. So your local coffee shop is going to be one to be shown early in the morning. So we have those pop up uh, early in the morning. If they've got a special uh, a lunch deal uh, coupon, a buy one, get one, that type of thing. And then happy hour later on towards the evening, those types of items. Um, all of those things you can use to kind of coordinate and allow the, the, those coupons to get maximum views at the, at the right time of day. And that could be tied into a newsletter also. Absolutely. So like, you know, once a week, once a week maybe, or even like at a certain point in the day, you can get all of the lunch specials for, for this week sent to you at 11 a.m., mm -hmm. you know. So that's a, that's a great idea for an email also. Other ways you can also use to promote those coupons, um, obviously adding them to your social media, uh, like we mentioned before, tweeting them out on your Twitter account, your Facebook account, posting them there. Those are great ways to get those um, shown as well. Creating contests and giveaways um, as part of these are a great way. And then always reaching out to your existing print advertisers, as Christine has, has mentioned here a couple of times. Just going back to the folks that you've already got on board and saying, hey, this is a, this is a new opportunity for you that not only are you going to be seen in print, but you're also going to get the power of our website as well and seeing even getting even more eyeballs that are not limited to just your local market. You know, people can come in to a website from, from literally anywhere to get you some extra eyeballs on there as well. And as we mentioned before, all of the coupons will have all of those sharing tools on there, on the Facebook, the Twitter, and the email as well. On the horizon here, Obviously, this is, this is something that we're going to continue to work on going forward. There are things that we have that we are looking at. One of the big pieces uh, here that I expect that would probably is, is already in the question queue is, is, this, is this going to be part of the Blocks Now app? It is not as of right today. That is, one of the, that is probably the biggest thing on the horizon is that we do want to make sure that that is integrated with the Now app um, in there. Other things that, that we are looking at are things like geofencing um, and the ability to, to batch print coupons all at, all at the same time. Christine, were there some other things that we are, that we kind of have in the bucket there? Um, just, you know, some kind of additional improvements in terms of integration with and promotion with other, um, other areas throughout the site, um, trying to maybe help with automation. Um, obviously, we have things like the Lux notifier um, product that is now available and trying to you know, make sure that they're as easy to create and manage as possible. 
Um, I did want to say this this is actually available right now, but um, one other thing that to, to, to mention as part of like kind of the things that you can do that, that I have forgot about previously is, I mean, because remember that these are assets in the system and everybody um, on the call I'm sure is very aware of all the many different types of things that you can do with assets in terms of creating blocks, in terms of creating you know various showcase of content, things like that. Um, one idea could be actually creating a collection of coupons and that you can actually promote that collection. So as an example, you know, again, kind of just thinking about the prom example, you know, you can, even if, even if the, um, you're not, maybe you're not selling a specific, you know, program to go get, to go get prom advertisers, but you just look at the coupons that you already have in the system, find the ones that are relevant to prom. Like you probably, you might already have a salon, you might already have a, a nail place, and then put them together into a collection asset, which is everyone will be familiar with collection assets, and then just promote that as content even on the front page. You're driving additional exposure to those coupons, but it's actually a great service to users to kind of facilitate and surface those specialty coupons for their specific issue. Um, you can, uh, you know, Mother's Day coupons, for example, the flower store, you know, chocolate, stuff like that. Obviously you could go out and sell um, specifically to those types of advertisers that you're going to be promoting this on the front page and it's a special situation. But even if you, you're just looking at existing coupons in the system to surface them and make them available to users almost as content, um, I think that's a, that's a great idea as well. And it's very easy to do and obviously something that people will be familiar with um, in terms of creating collections and things like that. So again, just kind of pointing out the fact that these are assets and there's a lot of things that you can do with asset, assets to promote them throughout the, throughout the page. If you did a if you did a story about Mother's Day, for example, you can actually attach some of the coupons as child assets and place them in line in the article that both makes that article more valuable, but you're also promoting those coupons at the same time as well. So there's a lot of great things that you can do in the Black system to kind of cross promote and integrate these things as well. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of good functionality we've already built in here, and like like we've already shown today. There's a lot of you can pretty much tie this in with with most of our applications and and cross promote them and, and show them in, in a myriad of different ways. So with that said, do Cherry, what is the the question queue look like? We do have some questions. Now's a great time to enter those in the question box. Um, first question. Can you offer a link to a site using this or a demo? If you want a demo, we can. you can certainly contact your sales rep. Um, I do not have something pre-prepared today with a site currently using this, but your sales rep will have, will have that when, you, when they do the demo for you. Does this have to be a separate site or can it be integrated into our existing newspaper website? This is, this is definitely uh, designed to be integrated with your block site. And, and as part of that too, it's, it, it can be um, actually surfaced in your classifieds section. So the nice thing about that is that if somebody goes into the classified section and searches for um, you know, pets or something like that, and you have a pet grooming coupon in the classifieds, actually people searching for pets will see that surface inside of their uh, existing searches that they're already doing. So that's a nice um, way that that's integrated as well. And it helps with SEO because it's on your site, not on a separate site. Yep. So no separate URL is required. It's not required. You can do that if you want to. So if you have, if, if you're working with, um, like let's say you have five sister sites in an area, you can create a regional coupon site that might help, you know, create more content in that area. So, so that sort of thing is possible, but it's definitely part of your site if you want it to be. <laughs> Are coupons or ads visible on phones? Currently, our online ads are not visible on a phone. Hmm. Yeah, they should all be visible. So, I mean, and I would, I would uh, probably submit a ticket to look at, you know, everything should be visible on the phone. Phone is the number one, we got like 60 to 70% of our traffic now is on a phone. So we want everything to be visible there. So let us know if that's not the case. Is there an additional cost for the use of blocks offers? So there is an additional cost. Um, you will want to talk to your sales rep about that specific cost, but yes, this, there will be a charge 
for this and it does require a, a software entitlement. But just in general, you know, like I was kind of giving the pricing of adding it in a you know twenty five dollar upsell to your print coupons. The the price of this is you know is going to be equivalent to the price of a couple of upsells. So it's it's you know yeah it's it's going to be worth it to, if you're just going to sell a handful of these even. But creating it as part of a program, yeah, it's a it's a it's a really good program. Yeah. Is business directory required for box offers? It is not required, but let's call it highly recommended. It does make it does make the process much much easier, um, but it is not it is not a required item. Yeah, obviously the link to a business page and things like that, you'd need the business directory to link to the pages, but you can create coupons that aren't specifically related to the business directory. Is there a standard coupon size? Hmm, that's an excellent question. Yeah, I mean, the, we, we probably could have a recommended size for the main logo. I believe we um, do. So, yeah, I mean, but, uh, it, it, I mean, this is using responsive design, so it will, you know, uh, shape itself to whatever the device is or what the, the page is. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it, it will take really whatever size in terms of if you're thinking about, like, the print coupon part of it. Um, uh, but you know that we could probably have a, a recommended size, but really any size will will actually work. If we don't have business directory, can coupons click through to the advertiser's website if they want it? Um, I mean, I you could definitely include it in like the description. I'm not sure if we have a. I don't know if top of my head if we have an advertiser URL field or anything like that. I don't remember. Yeah, I will have to look at that, but. Um, there should be a way to do that uh, if you don't specifically have the business directory. We can look to see if there's a, a special field for that. Okay. Are these coupons section tagged? Yes. They'd be tagged the same way other assets are, right? Yeah, Correct. like the like the classifieds. Yes. Okay. Um, can we email this presentation, everyone? Yes, we will send a link to the recording along with the slide deck and um, other information in the next couple of days. So if you signed up, you should get the email with that information. Uh, another section tag question. What is the section tag? Would it be classified or? It, it'll be classified and then the, there'll be, a, there'll be um, categories for each of the, for whatever category you chose. So restaurants, those types of things. Who can I reach out to for more information? So for more information, obviously you want to contact your sales rep and they should be able to answer all the, any additional questions that you may not get answered on today's webinar. Does this replace the current coupons and blocks? Yes, yes, this will be, this is the, this is the replacement offer for this. Um, now you will need this, this software entitlement to, to provide for coupons. Yeah, essentially, that's that's one thing that we're trying to do as part of this is, you know, we had kind of a really basic, you know, ad uh, capability to do previously, but just sort of due to the the popularity of coupons in general and uh, trying to really kind of focus on this as a product, we're sort of breaking this out into its own thing so that we can, you know, really kind of just show it off and also to add additional features to it that um, make it a more kind of in-depth product. I mean, and I will say just as a, as a quick side note, I mean, if there are lots of surveys and things out there, and we kind of talked about this before, there's lots of surveys and stuff out there talking about the importance of, you know, um, not, not, not just coupons specifically, but just ads and advertising information as part of the print product. And there's a lot of um, people who actually say that they subscribe to the print product to get the inserts and the coupons and things like that and the advertising information. Um, so this is just a, a, a really nice way to, and I think that there's a lot more that just the, the, the industry in general can do with you know being able to find and surface coupons and offers and things like that. But this is a really nice way to start to uh, digitize that process and replicate that kind of need from the user perspective online. So um, we're really excited about kind of really digging into this and spending more, more time in this area.
Is there any national coupon partnerships or do all the coupons come from our sales staff? Right now, all of those will come from your sales staff. That is one of the other things that we are exploring is we are looking for a national partner to, to partner with. So there's many ways to stay connected with us. You can view our documentation at help.blockcms.com. You can call our support at 800-293-9576 or visit support.townews.com. You can visit the partner community at community.townews.com. That's a great place to share ideas for what you're doing with your coupons, what's working, Just find out what other people are, brainstorm ideas there, ask questions. It's a great resource. You can check the status of our servers at townews.statusdiet.io. Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube. And come see us at Streaming Media East next week in New York. You can sign up for one of our many newsletters on our news page on our website. Uh, and again, if you sign up for today's webinar, you're automatically added to the webinar announcements email, so you'll get the notifications of the recordings and our monthly webinars. Let me do a quick scan to see if there's any other questions that came in. It looks like that was it. Thank you so much, Christine. Thank you, Doug. Appreciate the information, and we will see you guys next month. Thank you.